Hey everybody, this is FireGuy522 with my third hammer editor tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make hills and mountains and cliffs. Anything that includes like bumped surfaces, I suppose. Um, using a thing called displacements. Displacements are brushes that can be raised or lowered, moved left or right using the points on the brush with the paint geography tool inside the face edit tool. It's a little subcategory thing. Okay, when you get Steam open, when you have Steam open, go to Source SDK, this will pop up. Choose your current game. I'm using Half Life 2 Deathmatch. You can use Counter Strike or something else. Gary's Mod doesn't work for me. I don't know why I still have it on there. Don't worry about it. Um, Orange Box and Fortress 2, but I'm going to use Half Life 2 Deathmatch. Uh, let's go ahead and run our hammer editor. I'm going to open up mine right here. So hammer's open. Um, we're going to go ahead and use a little grass texture. I'm going to go grab my brush tool, grass textures. I'm going to type in grass for the filter. I'm going to use this. You can use whatever texture you want, but this is just an example. Let's go ahead and make our brush. Okay, so we make our block, set our camera up, and you see we have a block of grass. Oh, and yours may look like this. If it does, you can always change it to 3D shaded texture polygons, just for more realistic lighting, sort of, but you don't have to. For this tutorial, because it's hard to see this, I'm going to leave it untextured. Okay, now with our mouse tool, click on the box, then choose the texture application tool, or the face edit tool. Now, when you have this open, you see materials, you got all this stuff. But you see this tab, it's called Displacements. Click on that. Right here it says Create. You press Create, choose the power. The more power you have, like Power 4, the more smoother you're able to make this. If you make it 2, it's not going to be as smooth. It's going to be pretty bumpy. So I'm going to use 3. We don't need 4 unless we're making something super smooth and it's like something else. It's a little hard to explain. You'll understand when we're doing this. Okay, when you have that selected, hit OK. You see that our block now has lines all over it. Now what we can do with this, we can hit Paint Geometry, and a window comes up. It's called Displacement Paint Geometry. Now we can choose the face that we want. I'm going to use Face Normal because that's the Z axis, or the Z axis. I said Z if you're Canadian, I think. Does the Canadian say that? Z axis or Z axis, whatever you want to say. Um, we're going to choose how far each time we click on it changes. I'm going to keep it at 5. Radius, that's how big that little sphere is. So if I change that to like 170, 117, and you get like a big block or big sphere, I'm going to change that back to 15. Okay, now. With this open, we can go ahead and click on one of the faces, and you can hold it, and you can move your mouse around, and it raises the uh, surface. And so basically, you're making hills. Pretty cool. It's, uh, it's pretty easy to make cliffs using the same technique, but if you change the axis, so your x-axis or something, oh, whoops, that's y-axis I'm thinking of, you can make, like, a cliff type, but there's one thing about it, if you do that, it stretches out the textures, so try to keep the, them all kind of close together, if you know what I mean. Now, here, there's this is one way if you only want to like if you don't want to have like a whole bottom to it um, you can just make a brush hit the face edit thing the face edit tool click on the top surface 
like just click on it, like it all will be selected, just click on the top, go to displacement, hit create, and choose the power, hit OK, and you see that underneath there's nothing under here. If you look up to where the brush is, you won't be able to see it, but if you go back up, there it is. And this is a little bit better because it won't like, you don't have to worry about accidentally like pulling one of these off too far. It's just like a surface. It's pretty cool. Um, you can change this to where, oh, here's one feature in the displacements. When you hit destroy and create it again. Oh, when you hit destroy, it remakes the brush underneath it, so I don't need that, so I'll just do that. Select it, displacements, create. Okay, now when you have just the top surface or anything, you can just have like the block. There's this thing called noise. Noise, it like basically makes random hills or spikes for you. So you can specify the minimum that you want. We put negative three, the max, put like five, hit okay. Uh, that's a little hard to see, so. Hit noise again, minimum negative 50, max. 50. Hit OK. It randomly generates hills for you. But it's not really that smart to use because it kind of doesn't like smooth it out. Okay. Well, this has been FireGuard 522 with my third hammer editor tutorial teaching you about displacements and hills. Uh, have fun, don't burn yourselves.